Welcome back, guys, to Trails of Cold Steel 4, where last episode, after speaking to Yuna's father and securing passage into the Lake Elm Wetlands, we found a quest awaiting as we helped Harold and Sophia find their son. The search for Colin took us all over Michelin, as we also helped the boy give his father a keepsake before his conscription, with the family able to share their true feelings. We then entered the southern section of the Lake Elm Wetland, finding the troops to not be guarding this site, we fought through, and now step forward for our Crossbell Anomaly Hunt's conclusion. Ah! What's up? We hit the jab puddle. What the? This must be the black pleroma grass. And a pillar of light to boot. Look at this symbol carved into the ground. That light looks familiar, do you think? Right, it looks like the one we saw in the old schoolhouse. Wait, what? I remember hearing about this from Instructor Reen. Overcoming that trial allowed him to awaken Valimar. Does that mean there could be... You guys are pretty sharp, aren't you? How curious, though, to run into you all the way out here. Y you The fool! Hey! We meet again, Class 7. I'm glad to see you're all well. Then again, I can't imagine you'd believe anything I'd tell you right now. Scarecrow. You asshole! Wait, is that? Uh, Sharon! How lovely to see you again, my lady. Uh, pardon me. Lady Elisa Reinfurt. Or perhaps I should say pleasure to meet you, as I am no longer the Sharon you knew. I am once more Ouroboros' Enforcer Number 9. The Severing Eclipse. <sighs> uh, Elisa. If all of you are here, then... I take it Governor General Rufus is within that pillar of light? <laughs> right on the mark. Honestly, that's why I was so surprised to see you here. The Governor General made a deal with Heiyue to keep the SSS and Bracers busy so he could finish his business here in peace. We know they'll betray us eventually, of course, but you can't play in the gutter if you're afraid to get dirty. And what harms a betrayal if you know it's inevitable? Besides, someone might have seen to it that their group can wipe out Heiyue and the SSS all at once. No comment. <laughs> Guess that Rufus guy stopped giving a shit about his reputation. Clearly. And once the war with Calvert begins, he'll cast the Syndicate aside too. So this is how the Governor General... No, how the Ironbloods choose to operate, is it? Major Arundel, I don't understand. After everything that's happened, after everything we've lost, why are you still siding with them? You and Major Revelt act like nothing's changed. Did she really mean that little to you? Ellie. You've really grown up, Black Rabbit. You too, Ash. Looks like you found your feet. Honestly, I'm kind of relieved. Answer the damn question. I thought you stood for something. Or are you just another one of Osborne's pawns? Yeah. Pretty much. Thing is, when Claire and I failed to save Milliam, it messed us up pretty bad. I think we both looked to her as a replacement for the family we'd lost. Osborne, on the other hand, 
was the man who took that family from me. I joined the Iron Bloods thinking I'd be able to outsmart him and avenge my dad. But the man operates on a higher level. I mean, a thousand-year-old curse, the Great Twilight? <laughs> when those are the stakes, who the hell can compete? But you need to understand. He unleashed the Great Twilight to end the curse afflicting the Empire. He's taken it upon himself to uproot and reset a power that was all but impossible to fight back against. So I made up my mind. If siding with Osborne lets us create a world where Milliam's sacrifice wasn't in vain, then so be it. And that's how Claire and I will put things right. Uh, <laughs> Bullshit! That's why you started this war? To reset everything? How is driving this country to ruin supposed to put anything right? Indeed. It makes my plan shine by comparison. Sharon. Or whoever you say you are now. Let me just say this. It doesn't matter to me what you and the rest of the society are planning here. Because you should know we haven't come this far for you to stop us now. We're going to take back what's important to us, no matter what, even if we have to go through you to do it. I won't hold back against you. I owe you that much. <laughs> I must applaud you for not asking me to return to your side. And though I do not know all the details of your mission, I hope you can take back what you've lost. I will not hesitate either. I intend to use every underhanded trick at my disposal. I will return the love you've shown me, but so too shall I stand in your way. Bring it on! We won't be stopped here. Not even by you. Ah, to see old friends fighting against each other really gets you right in the heart. But maybe I should step in to really amp up the drama. I could do with a little fun. Especially after I'd let Lady Bell have the SSS and the Bracers last time. Shut up! Just shut the hell up! I've known this since we met at Orcus Tower, but you? You're the worst! None of this involves you, and you still choose to make things worse for everyone with that crappy little grin on your face! Sharon and the Major are both struggling to make choices they can stand by. But what about you? Do you think about a single thing you do? Does anything even matter to you? Then... You go on to mention the one who betrayed Crossbell! It's time someone knocked that grin off your stupid face! And while we're at it, we are going to expose the Governor General, get to the bottom of whatever you're planning, and... Take Instructor Reed back! No matter what! <laughs> Yuna. <laughs> That's exactly right. I have to admit, that one kinda stung. You're clearly getting a bit hot under the collar. My role as Enforcer Number Zero gives me much less freedom than my compatriots, you see. Personal stakes just aren't on the table for me. So, to show I care, this time, I'll actually try. Just a little bit. You made some bold declarations just now. Show me you're not all talk, hmm? Just wait and see! <laughs> it's so rare to see you lose your composure. Maybe I'll follow suit and pull out all the stops, too. Is that? This is what he did at the Grawl. The Iron Blood's dirty little trick. And the Great Twilight's only made it stronger. It's time you learned what you're really up against. I'll be fighting in earnest as well. Prepare to be eclipsed by death. <laughs> Just hold out as best you can, all right? <laughs> you sure talk a big game. Now prove it. Let your guard down and you'll soon be eclipsed. 
Well, then I shall, and I hope my PlayStation hands in there as well, because with all those effects in the background, it is chugging that fan <laughs> so hard. And I think, personally, that Yuna's voice actor or VA does the impassioned speeches that would normally reserve to Reen with a lot more passion. <laughs> I quite like her doing it. She sounds like she has proper vitriol behind it. Survive to the end, reduce the enemy's HP to a certain amount within 40 turns, our opponents lie before us and aren't doing anything to us for the start. Oh, we can see HP values, everyone's got the same. I was going to say, who's going to be the first target? Who's going to be the weakest? Right, and I was thinking, maybe, maybe, uh, it would be Lecter, because, you know, I mean, an Orbos Assassin I'd put low down, and Campanella's not exactly that buff, but... I was thinking the Lecter would be worse than these two, but obviously he's not, so that's a thing. I mean, we want to go AoE, but the first question is, what can we do... ...to mess with them to begin with? I kind of want Kurt in here. My apologies. Leave it to me! But I would also like Insight. To start with. We can also summon our orbital gear. What the hell? Cool. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. What? Shine over us all. <laughs> Don't take me lightly. <laughs> Weak. <laughs> Ooh. Have a taste of this. Riot flame. What's that? Nope. Wide open. It's not. Sure. Disorder. Riot flame. EPCP cost 200%. Oh, my orders are locked. What? Shh. What do S crafts cost? So S crafts go off the menu. I guess because it would be a hundred to even do a normal one. Whoa, <laughs> hello! They've cracked out some new abilities! Okay, obviously you can still use items under this kind of condition. To kind of avoid the cost a little bit. Too bad I can't summon in my things. I would, I wouldn't mind about the EP cost of pool. I mean, if that's the case, I may as well just battle scope <laughs> and start getting some scans on some guys. Ha! And Iron Blood and Major of the Intelligence Division can manipulate the law of course and effect to his advantage. We did see, but we don't read until we've actually ha! got the full scan. All right. No one there had the range to go to work there. I mean, I can attack all three. My turn. Alright, I'm guessing I can impede before that comes around. Even if we sacrifice some here. I mean, I just think I'll keep scanning. I mean, I've still got 40 turns to take them down after all. Hopefully they don't do anything crazy to me. But it would probably be it's also best to not let them even get anywhere near the chance. At least I could always do her shot. I've lost it! <laughs> Where's it going? <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Took me too long to find that. Huh. Orbos is in enforcer number nine. Having renounced the name Sharon, she walks a path of death and destruction. Leave it to me. Now, do I just flam burge because that does impede on the first go here? I don't think doing, for example, an item will give me. I mean, I'm sure Ash can do it, but I'll flam burge. Go up in flames. Fire. <coughs> now. They're mine. <coughs> My turn. All right, so disorder's gone. I've got an impede on this as well, so I should start. 
kind of chugging back the other way, right? My health is fine. Don't know if I want to lower the, the delay or just Go wild. Crazy hunt. start sure. messing them up. You're mine. <laughs> it's down. <laughs> oh, please miss. Useless. I should get two targets, surely. Now. I have impede. I'm sure I have impede. I don't have an impede. Who has an impede? Kurt, Twilight Blade. Switch. Leave it to me. God, these guys go a billion turns. When am I supposed to take turns? Uh, there. <laughs> it's down. It's mine. <laughs> Weak. That's a good turn. Yeah. That was a very good it's turn. Mine. <laughs> I need to scan him before he dies. Oh, they're trying to kill themselves. <laughs> Get him out. It's mine. I probably should just do first, but then I might Here kill I him. Come. Shadow stick. Nope. Here I go. Okay. Ash is smashing. I'm feeling like Gaius coming out with a certain ability would be a great bet right now. So. And we've got 200 CP on multiple guys. I think I'm just going to break them. I think I'm just going to kill them now. Eh? Warboss is enforcer number zero. Ruthlessly efficient and skilled in battle. Has a penchant for toy with opponents. Sure. Bring in. Oh, you're at 200 as well. Hunt. My turn. More chucky chucky power. Who shall I hit? Who's got the least HP? Most <laughs> even. Yeah, it's mine. Yes. Gaius. Sorry. I'll take over. Time to destroy everyone. Are you cool for this? I'm gonna do this first to get a little bit of a buff. And then we're going to go to work. This is the power of the soaring phoenix. Golden seal etched deep in my soul. Imbue my spear with the fury of the goddess. I feel like they had more turns than me. This is battle. Holy heavens! <coughs> well, well. Seems like you're not all talk. I see. Your resolve is commendable. Oh, poor Lecter! And it's Ash! Hey! Feel free to go wild. Now, let's dance. Ha! 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 I ain't done with you yet! Helio Raid! <laughs> Sweet dreams. <laughs> You're not bad at all. You were near death. Alright, job done. So now let's wait for our robots to show up. Seeming something's being awakened, right? Unit's level went from 82 to 83. Everyone's level went from 82 to 83. But I don't, never understood why it doesn't show me the stat on this screen. 82, 84 for guys. And Elisa. PlayStation, settle down. It's going to be loud again. Ready? 
AP increased by three as well. I'm just waiting for that to load in. The places you go. Not bad. Not bad at all. This ability of mine is pretty broken, but you really kept up. A splendid performance, my lady. <sighs> Damn, they're strong. The Major really wasn't kidding about his ability. What's worse, they hardly look winded. I have to admit, I'm really impressed. You've all come a long way in the past month. New Class 7 especially. Still, I have to wonder what you're trying to achieve with your little trek around the country. Or maybe it's not the barrier you're interested in at all. Maybe it's the Black Pleroma grass. Could it be you're hoping to find some clue as to where Reen is? No idea what you're talking about. Ah, so that is it. No wonder you're all fighting so desperately. But be warned. He is imprisoned far from here, in a place of pure darkness and despair. Consider it a mercy, then, that I will crush you here and now. I'd like to see you try, Sharon. What's going on here? Wait, that's Class 7. There's a warrant out for them. How did they make it through the blockade? What the heck? Those are the new models we saw before. That's right. Zauber Soldats, I believe they're called. A joint venture between the Black Workshop and the Reinford Group. A brand new weapon of war for the world to enjoy. If the Empire's largest company and the Gnomes are working together... Shit, that's one nasty combination. What's my mother doing? Sharon, what's going on? While I'm no longer affiliated with Reinford, I can tell you that these are no ordinary soldats. As proud soldiers of the Governor General, we cannot let this stand. Major Arendelle, allow us to apprehend these miscreants. Ah, uh, well, if you insist. Just know they won't go down without a fight, though. Of course we won't! Right. Clown Slayus. Panzer soldats. So the reports were true. So be it. An army of them would still be no match for our sorgays. That power. They're using mana? Then these things are just like magic knights? They must have created some way to harness that same energy. <laughs> the fun never ends with these guys. We can't afford to be stopped here. We have to win. Alright, well, do I want Ash the Smash as our reserve? Or do I want him in to fight? I mean, having Castrol there for the heal is nice, but we can also do that via other methods too. Who do I want to fight with me now? Ash is so smashy, but his speed isn't great. I don't know. <laughs> that speed's fine. He's got all the strength to really go at something. I mean, I feel like Yuna has been in most of the fights, hasn't she? Should we go with this group? I think Kurt was out last time, wasn't he? I think it's usually music I don't use, isn't it? Kinda want you there for the boost of the ATS, maybe? And the defensive purposes? Uh, Blessed Arrow, Lordly Flare, Golden Howl, Gale Raid. Too bad you can't see what the actual... Oh, there you go. Yeah, too bad. Oh, yeah, there. Uh, no, I don't want that. <laughs> no, thanks. Don't use my stuff, thank you very much. 
guess we'll go with that. All CP plus 22 turns for stores, 10 percent HP, blessed arrow. That's quite good. This seems to be quite a tanking group. Let's go with that. I think. Yeah, sure. My X orbs. I mean, I can't really equip too much else. I can lower my power. Or my EP. I've got that extra EP to be able to use. Or my speed. To be honest, having extra HP over speed probably only means I tank an extra one attack. Eh, I'm fine. My turn. It is, and our opponents are attacking different guys. So that's a bit confusing. Head, sword, thingy, do I want to go for you first? I mean, which one's going to have the lower HP? What do I want to attack? Too many targets to choose from. Sure, I'll attack this guy imagining he has less HP, and maybe because he's got a gun, the most damage. Now I'm going to analyze their positions. I'd go for the head on him and the arm on this guy. Mainly because it keeps flitting to those positions. Is it because they're the last chosen ones or? That's interesting. Why is the arm the first target? But like when that set his arm, it resets to the head and that resets to the arm. Is that the weakness? <laughs> No. Wrong. My turn. No, it was the. It, it might probably be the weakness. Is that a bug? It could be the weakness, but I'm just not getting anything for it. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. My turn. Okay, I can only impede one with this attack. Actually, I can't impede anyone. So this is going to be a little bit different. Um, weaknesses have changed. Oh, what? So yeah, one defaults to the arm and one defaults to the head. Why is that? That's weird. Well, this time around it should be the body or the head because it's usually a different position. So, because the shield's down there, I hit here. Yeah, it's mine. My turn. Typically, if you discover the weakness, it will auto-focus you when your turn comes. That makes sense. Makes sense as a bug. It does look like it's telling me. Alright, no impedes on anyone this turn. I mean, I could straight up defend, because it's supposed to be coming for me. But I could just tank the hit too, I'll be fine, right? That's, a, that's four star. It's down! It's mine! Eat this! Ooh, yeah, the gun guy's way worse! Leave it to me! I didn't actually have the heal if I don't have you in the thing. Yeah. Wow, I'm not hitting that. There. There. Let's go. Alright, so we now know the gun guy is AoE, so we can't let him do things anymore. Half my HP. It's mine. I got this. I'll have to stop now, you. Eat this. That's what you get for being careless. It's 
my turn. I didn't have a choice in the matter, really. Your defense and ADF are low down. But it'll be fine. You're my target. So you still have an impede on all, so we'll have to save you for the future. You can do impede all this turn. Spirit! I'm going. This will get a bit spicy. Fire! Hits both, has the break on one. Now's our chance! I've got you! And fire too means that you can do some extra damage once that attack comes in. Now. I could just put Evan Barrier up here and just protect you. Spirit! Healing ain't bad either. There! Very well. So I must stop you doing attacks and that will kill you. I think normal attack would have killed you. There. You little. Maybe in the order that guy's sure. arms come for after that other guy's head. It's a bit weird, no matter what. No matter which way you look at it, it's a weird one. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's mine. Yeah. Huh. Leave it to me. Can't stop him attacking, can I? Spirit! Eat this! My Everyone's turn. HP is kind of fine. No, that wasn't it. The head was not it. So the targeting we decided based on the head and the arms, that was wrong. So what is this weakness then? I just got lucky. I mean, it happens, right? Now, eat this! That's what you get for being careless. It's my turn. Now's our chance! Call it one! Leave it to Leave me! It to me. To me. That's with defense ADF right? down. It's mine. Maybe there was a four star. I don't know, but three stars usually good enough. I was wrong. President shot. This can't be. Oh, did we win? We did indeed. We lost to Phil Rain by you being a pilot rather than in the back seat. A bit of link experience for the pilots and their guys. Job done. Next. They're down. <laughs> we had them outnumbered from the start. Hmm? Wait, something's not right. That is enough to stop us! We are the swords who will protect this great empire! It can't be! The flow of mana is turning against them. No, it's consuming them! <laughs> it seems you are yet inexperienced. Right. That figure. Looks like he snagged it. Then our work here is done. Just in time for the Auric Knight to take the stage. I can hardly wait for the Jade Rook to show us what he can do now. Major Arundel, Enforcers, 
You've done very well. Ah, Class 7. How good to see you again. I had a feeling we'd meet soon. Those who seek opposing goals are bound to cross paths after all. Governor General Rufus. So it's true. Hold on. That's a new Divine Knight. What's an Imperial weapon like that doing in Crossbell in the first place? The Trial Grounds have little regard for the normal rules of time and space. They can appear anywhere throughout the Empire. This became a potential site the moment Crossbell became a province of Erebonia. It's as simple as that. This land has a storied magical history. The moment it was annexed, I began scouring it for a sign. And here, on the cliff overlooking Lake Ebel, this overflowing font of mana, I succeeded in evoking the trial. El Prado, he who embodies eternity, has finally awakened. The final Divine Knight walks the Earth once more. Uh. That would explain why magic knights and cryptids from Erebonia started appearing in Crossbell. Not to mention the Spirit Shrine. It's like how Vita opened the path to the Trial of the Azure Knight. I see. He must have learned from that. Which would mean he's been planning this since last year, at least. Th then... Is this why you became Governor General of Crossbell in the first place? <laughs> in part, yes. Now, I'm sure the Auric Knight could use some exercise after its long slumber. Care to join me for a little warm-up? <clears throat> How they just keep coming! Governor General, sir! Please allow us! There's no need for you to dirty your hands. <laughs> if that sorry display was the best you could do, then you're useless to me. Now stand down, before I kill you myself. <sighs> As you command, sir. What is this aura? Stay on your guard! <laughs> Divine Knight or not, we just gotta take him down, right? Yeah. We may be outmatched, but at this point, it's do or die. Then we will see this through. Right. Here we go. Thank God I can switch up before we go. Because I'm taking... You out of circulation. I would like you to help with a little bit of the healing. So healing, CP, healing. And uh, I would like to put... I guess I should put you two together? A little bit more strength for Ashy Smashy. Extra defense or not? Super speedy kit. I think that's the way I'll have this battle. Now we now have Sephil Rain. Another 10% heal with CP gain. Uh, full attack block. Uh, the CP gain is actually really important because it allows me to stop them. But if it's only one target, we should be better off, right? <laughs> Shall we have ourselves a warm up? Where do you want me to attack first? Reduce the enemy's HP to 50%. It's my turn! <laughs> well, it's already starting to do a thing. So that doesn't help, because I don't have any CP. Oh no, I do have some CP. But not anything with an impede. I guess I could defend the first go. Costs 20 CP. Uh... My turn. Uh, my turn. I don't have any option to impede on the first turn. 
Holy flame. Take this! Attack door free for quite a bit. Okay, what's wrong here? I mean, I can heal up. So I can nullify that first phase of attack. Not good. Okay, luckily the guard lasted that long. Now here, I can't really get my guards going again, so I'd have to guard on the singular target. Um, It's got one turn of what? I do not know. I'm screwed. <laughs> this is not good. This arm will... Arm, head, body, arm, head, head, body, body, arms ahead of the rest. I don't know. Ah! Ha! Yes! Wide open! They're mine! Very well. Right, you're about to get hit. It's gonna hurt. You're gonna need to defend again. Uh, my turn. Don't worry, we can tank. So was that good? Oh, that's the four star for this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can start getting yeah. some CP. Yeah, it's mine. All right. I mean, this is the first attack I feel I've actually had to guard on. I'd say it's arm this time because that's a bit high at further forward. <laughs> Have we just worked out two of go. the three poses? It would be nice if we have. Huh. Sure. Alas, well, the seven divine knights do appear. It's Awakeners, Governor General Rufus. Tell us the things we don't already know. Actually has elemental efficacy versus everything except for the, the double. The higher elements. So that's interesting. Can be burned, sealed, or status down. Not very much for the other things, though. We've got status down. Making it a bit slower will help. And that's a free star. I can go with that. Yeah, Build up to a unite. Speed down will help me out quite a bit, actually. Finally, well. you get a turn. Uh, I need to impede because it's not like he's been able to get anything thus far. There, it's mine. All right, we can unite off of this. Here I go. This is also speed down small, so that will actually gain on it. You can't escape. Fire! That will level it up a bit. Wide open. They're mine. I won't unite yet. Yes. I need yeah. the CP up. Everyone's actually. This is much more strategic. Let's go. I'd love to hit him with Ash and then hit the Unite so I can lower its defense as well. Yeah. There. It's mine. I see. Yeah. Got me this time, did you? My turn. Absolutely perfect for me. Now, eat this. That's what you get for being careless. My turn. Now I just need a hit with the extra, and I'll be good and golden if I get it. Because that defense down is going to help. There. At once. Yeah. I got it. Uh. It's mine. Mistral blade. blade. Uh. Nowhere near enough for a kill, though. Uh. Uh. He's an angry man! There! Here I go! 
Kurt can impede the attack. Let's get them! They're mine! My turn! It's mine. I see. He's going faster. He's got two nails, so we might be able to do a finisher. Sure. I don't have it. My soul. My turn. Have enough this time, I'm pretty sure. I think I have enough on Yuna, right? If not, I just have to bust a finisher up. Yeah. Here I go. You can't escape. Fire! <laughs> Let's get him. I mean, I probably could just finish it. I got this. Like, by the smallest of margins. <laughs> How close do you want this to be? <laughs> so what have we got? Like, 1,000 health? 1,489? Isn't that, like, the gap? Wow. <laughs> You're mine! I see. That's all you're capable of, I take it? No! But don't kill me. So we have fought off the Orc Knight El Prado. What happens next? That was for Unico and Ash. Yeah, I did it! I must train even more. <laughs> nice. More link experience. Let's get our conclusion for our crossbow arc. Number minis. Expect nothing less from Soldot's link to the Ashen Knight. But it's not enough. No. The Auric Knight needs more to draw out its full power. After our many bouts with Valimar, it takes more than that to defeat us. Yeah, this gaudy bastard ain't got shit! And we'll be here to offer you support. That's right! We can't let you guys get all the glory! Clown Soleus, we need your full power! <laughs> How interesting! Know your place, children! We won't turn a blind eye to this treachery! We will protect him no matter the cost! <sighs> they caught us off guard! Not, Not so, so fast! Is everyone all 
right. Sorry we're late. Yuna. Ellie and... Lloyd! We made it just in time. Yeah, but it was a little too close for comfort. <laughs> now those are faces I haven't seen in a while. Joshua and Estelle Bright. Good to see you. And you even brought along some friends from the SSS. I really didn't think you'd make it through Valter's forces. Well, we did get some help from Arios and Yin. Wait, hold up. Why do you still look like a kid? It's been years. Campanella. Kruger. Or is it Sharon now? I'm surprised you of all people would choose to return to Ouroboros. It is a pleasure to see you again, Master Joshua. And Kruger will be just fine. I owe a great debt to Lenhart. But if I must fight you, then so be it. Whoa. What? So, you've decided to show yourselves at last. Ha! Ah, well evaded, Kruger. You clearly haven't lost a step. <laughs> it's like our own little Ouroboros reunion, isn't it? Lady Wren and... <laughs> what a lovely surprise, Blue Blanc! Wait, Blue Blanc? But that guy's not... Allow me to formally introduce myself, New Class 7. I... I'm the one and only Phantom Thief Blue Block. Beneath the facade of the hedonistic nobleman you knew as Alistair lay Ouroboros' Enforcer Number 10. Though you may be more familiar with my gnome de guerre, Phantom Thief B. Phantom Thief B? The famous one? Perhaps Notorious is more accurate, but who's the girl with him? Now look what you've done, Blue Blanc. They're all confused. You're Thor's class seven, right? Tita's told me all about you. My name's Ren, and we're here to help. Tita, could you be the best friend she mentioned? Which would make the rest of you... Yuna! We made That girl. K Kia! And she's not the only one. Man, what do we walk into? Quit it with the commentary! Let's just get out of everyone's way. How dare you! Your foot soldiers are no match for our soul bots! You've really got to give them credit for finding their way out here. So, Governor General, what's the plan now? <laughs> I believe our entertainment has come to an end. Today is a glorious day. After years of slumber, all seven divine knights are awake once more. Further bloodshed would ill suit such an occasion, especially with Operation Jormungan nearing its dawn. <sighs> so this is a divine knight. I don't know what your intentions are, and frankly, I don't care. But be aware, this is but a temporary reprieve. I will be sending an extermination unit shortly, so I'd advise you to leave this place now. Farewell, all of you. I can hardly wait for our next meeting. G Governor General! We should withdraw too. Oh, I guess the party's over. I'll have to tell Lady Bell all about it. Until next time, so long.
Right. I'd say you've got an hour to get your business done. Beyond that, I can't make any promises. Class 7? Special support section? Be seeing ya. Major Arundel. Damn it. After all that, they just let us go. Like we're nothing to them. Man, they don't get any easier, do they? Right. They are the ones who trapped us in the birdcage, after all. Sharon! This isn't over. I'll settle everything with Mother, that man, and with you. But no matter what happens, no matter where that leads us, there's one thing I'm sure of. You will always be Sharon to us. Lisa. After your display of will today, the least I can do is accept those words. It's time I took my leave. Farewell, Class 7. Please do take care of Lady Elisa for me. Sharon... Elisa... Rufus mentioned Operation Jormungand. The serpent that swallows the world. What a fitting name for an all-out invasion of Calvert. The Governor General and Supreme Commander Van Dyke's plans must be complete. And we still don't know a thing about him. True. Though with a name like that, it can't be good. Hey! You guys alright? <laughs> Josette! Clearly they finished their repairs. And so the immediate danger passed. After you and the others contacted Rose and drove the stake into the singularity, which we don't see this time. Or no, we do. The branch campus students and their allies left on board the Bobcat too. You and the others then returned to Crossbell using the spirit path. No talking? Hey, thank you. Talking, please. Thank you all so much. I don't want to imagine how things would have gone if you hadn't arrived. Ah, don't mention it. We've all got to help each other out, right? <laughs> we have Yona to thank. He put us in contact with the other branch campus students. I'm just grateful we got everyone together in time. The fact that we pulled it off really shows how much influence the SSS has. Don't forget the bracers. Yeah! And I never imagined we'd be working hand-in-hand -hand with members of the society. Well, Joshua and I are former members. So you should just think of me as Tita's friend instead. <laughs> so, you really are that best friend she was talking about, huh? And, uh, about this masked guy? Hello, Phantom Thief. I'm impressed. You even had me fooled. My, and after all the time we spent together during the Civil War. Think of my assistance as my grand return to the stage I was so rudely forced off of. As well as a gift in memory of my most worthy rival, the debaucherous prince. Ah, uh, Blue Block. Hmm. It was nice to have you on our side for a change. Thank you. Do take care. Oh, and you'll be working with Vita from now on, correct? Ha <laughs> ha! I most certainly will be, chess mistress. <laughs> Yo, no. Ash, isn't it? I need to apologize, first and foremost. I... None of us knew back then. The hell are you talking about, pretty boy? The name's Ash Carbide. I'm just some punk kid from Raquel. 
I'm not the kind of guy who'd know some fancy-ass bracer and his bombshell girlfriend. Oh, um... Joshua. Uh. Ash, is he... Another survivor of Hama? <sighs> it's alright. We'd need more time for this conversation anyway. Goodbye for now, Ash. I hope we'll get to see you and the rest of Class 7 again soon. Likewise. Well, take care of yourselves. He makes a good point. There's a lot I'd like to talk about, but we're running out of time. That extermination unit will be here any minute. We better get moving. Floyd. Ellie. I haven't seen you in so long, and now you have to leave. Don't worry, Yuna. I'm sure we'll meet again soon. Yeah. This is just the way it's gotta be for now. By the way, Randy and Tio have been telling me all about the great work you've been doing in the Empire. I can't thank your teacher enough for helping you learn and grow the way you have. The barrier in front of you might seem insurmountable, but I know you can do this. I know you can save him. <laughs> we will. We're going to work with Randy to find Tio, too. No matter what! We'll contact you as soon as we learn anything. I'm counting on it. Thank you. All of you. Hmm. So the SSS members will be staying in Crossbell for now. And I take it you Bracers will be returning to Erebonia proper. That's the plan. We still need to find out where Tita, Agate, and Shara are too. Now that you mention it, we haven't heard from the Silver Streak since she contacted us from the capital. Yeah, now I'm starting to worry. Our Heimdall team might know where she is. If we hear anything about her or Tita, we'll get in touch right away. I appreciate it. Very well. I will open the Spirit Path now. Class 7, it is time you return to Eren. It may be quite a distance, but the path is stable, so you should be fine. Got it. On our way. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey, Lloyd? Ellie? Can I go with you and Anne the others for a little while? Huh? Are you sure, Kia? Well, where'd this idea come from? I feel like I might be able to help them. And not just to collect information on Tio and Randy. But I think I can use the seven points to find out where their teacher is. How in the world? So this is why you were so interested when we mentioned the singularities. I see now. So this girl was the Zero Child. Then perhaps I should come along too. Ren? If they're trying to locate the Ashen Chevalier, then they could use my skills just as much as Kia's. And you two might feel a little less nervous knowing I'm there looking after her, huh? Thank you, Ren. Estelle and I still worry about you, you know? All right, Kia. You can go. Take good care of her for us, okay, Class 7? That goes for Ren, too. Still, with these two on your side, nothing will be able to stop you. And now we're babysitting. Yuna, Elisa? Be sure to take good care of them. Of course. We won't let you down. <laughs> Lloyd, Ellie, thank you! And hey, maybe I'll find out more about Tita and Shara while I'm at it. We'll all meet up again when the time is right. Okay, take care till then. You and the others watch the branch campus students and their other allies leave on board the Bobcat 2. They then opened up the spirit path with two new guests in tow. And so ends Act 1. <laughs> How many hours in now? <laughs> Let's uh, count them out. 40? I think 40... 42? <laughs> the Trials of Class 7. What is next? Looks like you went up a rank. Cool. Randy, you're missing, but you still tell us what our rank is. 
Here's a little treat. I don't master courts. Thank you very much. Force unity is at a nice number. Oh, still Steady going, huh? Good stuff. Academy grade increased to reconnected. Here's a little treat on me. Iron winged line medal. Nice work, troops. I know it ain't easy. S, A, B, C. Please no C. Don't tell me that. Time to move on, right? If that was the end of Act 1, then does another prologue begin? Or something else? It's time to find Reen, right? 40 plus hours without a protagonist! Is it time? 